Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. In this lesson, we will see time telling in Turkish. Saatler. Buçuk. Half. Buçuk. Çeyrek. Quarter. Çeyrek. Geçiyor. Past. Geçiyor. Var. To. Kala. To. Same as well. So we will see samples in the coming slides. For these vocabularies, let's continue. Kaç? What time is it? Saat kaç? Saat sekiz buçuk. As you see, it is eight thirty. Or you may say half past eight. Sekiz buçuk. Saat sekiz buçuk. Let's see another sentence about this. Saat altı buçuk. Saat altı buçuk. We say whole hour first in a sentence in Turkish. Then we say half, buçuk. It is half past six o'clock. Saat bir buçuk. Saat bir buçuk. It is half past one o'clock. Saat on buçuk. Saat on buçuk. It is half past ten o'clock. Let's move on to another slide. Same question. Saat kaç? What time is it? In this, in this part, we will see how to use past. How to say past in Turkish. Saat 8'e 10 geçiyor. It is 10 past 8. It is 10 past 8. Saat 8'e 10 geçiyor. In Turkish language, generally, we put the verbs at the end of the sentence. Geçiyor is our verb here, which is past. So it comes to the end of the sentence. In general, we put the verbs at the end of the sentence in Turkish language. Saat 8'e 10 geçiyor. Saat 5'i 10 geçiyor. It is 10 past 5. Saat 9'u 5 geçiyor. It is 5 past 9. Saat 6'yı çeyrek geçiyor. It is quarter past 6. In the structure of these sentences, there is a formula. Saat comes first. Saat is optional. Second one is whole hour. We put the whole hour in a sentence. Third one is half, quarter or minutes. And at the end, we put verb. In general, verbs come at the end of the sentence. And at the bottom, you will see the suffixes to whole hour. As you see in these sentences, the blue ones are the suffixes attached to whole hours. You may also guess the right suffix by sound. For example, dokuzu, dokuzu. Like, u is like back vowel, back vowel, u. If we say doku zi or doku zu, it is even hard to say it. Doku zu, it, it sounds smooth. So, like, even though you don't know all the grammatical rules in Turkish, you may try to guess the right suffix by sound. Doku zu. For example, altı yi, altı yi. We may not say altı yu. It is even hard to say it. Altı yi. It goes smooth. Let's move on to another slide. Saat kaç? Saat kaç? What time is it? Saat yediye çeyrek var. As you see in the picture, it is 15 minutes to 7 o'clock or quarter to 7 o'clock. Saat yediye çeyrek var. Var is to. T-O. Next one. Let's see the samples over here. Saat ona çeyrek var. It is quarter to 10. Saat ona çeyrek var. It is quarter to 10. Saat dörde yirmi var. Saat dörde yirmi var. It is twenty to four. Basically twenty minutes to four. Saat yediye beş var. Saat yediye beş var. It is five to seven. Yediye beş var. I also attach the suffixes at the bottom. As you see. And also you see the structure of these sentences. Again we put saat first. But that's optional. Then second one is whole hour. Next one is half, quarter, or minutes. And verb comes at the end. Okay, let's continue with another slide. Anahtar ifadeler, key statements. Saat kaç? What time is it? Saat kaçta? At what time or what time? These are different. You will see samples about this. Saat kaçta okula gidersin? What time do you go to school? Saat dokuz. It is nine o'clock. Saat kaçta kalkarsın? 
What time do you wake up or what time do you get up? Saat kaçta kalkarsın? Let's move on to another one. Affedersiniz, saat kaç? Excuse me, what time is it? Saat iki buçuk. It is half past two. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Rica ederim. You're welcome. It is a simple dialogue like about time telling topic. Let's continue with another one. Merhaba. Hello. Saat kaçta ders başlıyor? What time does the class start? Saat yedide başlıyor. It starts at seven o'clock. Another dialogue. Saat kaçta kahvaltı yapıyorsun? What time do you have a breakfast? Saat yedi buçukta kahvaltı yapıyorum. I have a breakfast at 7.30. I have a breakfast at 7.30. Yedi buçukta kahvaltı yapıyorum. Let's continue. You will see the difference of saat kaç and saat kaçta questions. In the case of asking saat kaç, we are asking what time is it? What time is it? Saat altı. These are the possible answers on the left for saat kaç question. Saat iki buçuk. It is 2.30 or half past two. Saat biri çeyrek geçiyor. It is quarter past one. Or another sample for saat kaç question is saat dokuza on var. Saat dokuza on var. It is ten to nine. What about saat kaçta question? Which is basically asking at what time or what time? So, first one is saat altıda. Saat altıda. It is at six o'clock. Altıda. You see this suffix in red color. Altıda. D-A. Which is at, basically, in English. At. Saat iki buçukta. Saat iki buçukta. It is at 2.30. Saat iki buçukta. This time we use different suffix. As you see, T-A suffix, not D-A. Because buçuk. It is ending with... K consonant. It is strong consonant. Then it goes with strong consonant as well. Buçuk ta. It goes like very similar. Buçuk ta. We wouldn't say buçuk de or buçuk da. We say buçuk ta. These answers, these samples to saat kaçta question again. At what time? For example, what time do you have lunch? What time? At what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at 2.30. 2.30 İki buçukta İki buçukta Or let's say what time do you go to cinema Or what time will you go to cinema We'll go to cinema at 2.30 İki buçukta These answers for At what time question Let's move on to next one Saat biri çeyrek geçe So at what time are you coming from school At what time are you coming from school Saat biri çeyrek geçe Biri çeyrek geçe at 1.15 or at 1 quarter. Next one. Saat 9'da 10 kala. Saat 9'da 10 kala. Which is basically 8.50. So for example, the question is What time do you go to bed? Saat kaçta yatağa gidersin? What time do you go to bed? Then let's say 9'da 10 kala yatağa giderim. 9'da 10 kala. What is it? Basically 10 minutes to 9. Or let's say I go to bed at 8.50 because those are the same thing. 8.50 equals 10 minutes to 9. In Turkish, we prefer to say 9'a 10 kala. It's the common one. 9'a 10 kala. Alright, let's move on to another slide. Geçiyor. Or var kala. For these, these are the suffixes that we use. And I got... The formula as well. These are representing final vowel in the in the number. Let's say the final letter is I. Final vowel is I without dot. If it is that, then it will be Y. I without dot suffix will be attached. Why this buffer consonant, which is Y in in a parenthesis? So we don't use this buffer consonant all the time. If the final letter is a vowel. If the final letter is in the in the number is vowel, then we put buffer consonant. It's like as a bridge, because we don't put two vowels next to like next to each other. 
So that's why we put kind of a bridge, which is buffer consonant, which is Y. But as you see in this part, we don't have vowel at the end. We have consonant. That's why we don't use, we don't need to use Y buffer consonant. Okay. So as you see, if the final letter, if the final vowel is E or I in the number like this, it is I. That's why suffix will be I at the end. Next one, U or O vowels. At the end of the number, the final vowel is U or O, then suffix will be Y, U or just U. This one, Dokuzu, Dokuzu. Look at the final vowel in the number, U vowel. That's why suffix will be U. So it wouldn't be Y, U because it's not ending with a vowel. It is ending with a consonant, Z letter is the final letter in this number then we just put u this one u uh, or u uh, vowels then it will be y u uh, suffix or just u uh, suffix uchu uchu uchu next part var or kala var kala which is two var kala we, we don't have too many things going on over here. It is just divided by two, eight vowels in total, four to four. U, O, A, I without that, which is U. In this case, if you see one of these vowels as a final, as a last vowel in the number, then it will be Y, A, or just A. Altia. Alti ya to six. Alti ya to six. Since final letter in the number is vowel, that's why we use buffer consonant as well. Alti ya. Next one, ona. Ona. To ten. To ten. Ona. Final letter is in the number, which is consonant. That's why we just put a suffix. So Altia. Basically, you may think like this. This buffer consonant is just like a bridge. Since we don't put two vowels next to each other in Turkish. So, Altia. We, we, we basically need to put a bridge, basically. Buffer consonant. Next one. Ö. Ü. E. I. In this case, the suffix will be Y, E or just E. Sekize, sekize, sekize. Üçe, two eight, sekize, two eight. Üçe, two three, üçe. In this slide, you will also see the numbers with suffixes. You may just stop the video and you may take notes.